प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट फोर्टीन थाउजेंड एट थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड डिबेंचर्स ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड क्रेडिटर्स सिक्स थाउजेंड लेवन थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड टोटल नाइन्टी थाउजेंड एंड सिक्सटी थाउजेंड प्रिपेयर रियलाइजेशन अकाउंट एंड शेयर होल्डर्स अकाउंट इन द बुक्स ऑफ राम लिमिटेड एंड राज लिमिटेड अज्यूमिंग दैट अमालगमेशन इज इन द नेचर ऑफ परचेज वॉट एवर इज द बैलेंस शीट वैल्यूज द सेम वैल्यू वी विल राइट हेयर but while writing the purchase consideration we have to take the agreed values hello everyone i am purnima faculty in the department of commerce and management vidyashram first street college temple of excellence mysuru i welcome you all to the session in this session 4 of unit 2 we will be working some of problems on amalgamation in the nature of purchase now here we have a problem here the two companies ram limited and raj limited amalgamate and form a new company rama raja limited and following are the assets and liabilities of the two companies now we have the liabilities here ram limited 50000 raj limited 40000 profit and loss account 14000 8400 debentures 20000 creditors 6000 11600 Total ninety thousand and sixty thousand. Here we have the cash twenty four thousand four thousand. Debtors forty thousand forty four thousand. Stock twenty thousand twelve thousand. Goodwill six thousand. Total ninety thousand and sixty thousand. So the additional information here we have here. The average profits of Ram Limited and Raj Limited have been ten thousand and six thousand respectively. Ram Raj Limited agrees with the two companies to take over the concerns for rupees one lakh twenty thousand, discharge all liabilities, to pay twenty four thousand in cash, and the balance in shares at face value. The debtors of both the companies to be written off 10% before takeover. The profit on conversion should be shared between the two companies as per the ratio of average profit stated above. Cash and share should be apportioned between them in the same ratio as the total purchase price is shared. Prepare realization accounts and shareholders account in the books of Ram Limited and Raj Limited, assuming that amalgamation is in the nature of purchase. Now we have. so before we start off with the problem we have to calculate the purchase consideration now i'll just show you the purchase consideration working note on purchase consideration here so the total purchase consideration of two companies is not given ram raj limited agreed to pay 24000 in cash and the balance in shares at face value the value of shares uh, given by ram raj limited is not given so purchase consideration cannot be calculated by net payment method it has to be calculated under the net asset method so since they have not they have mentioned the mode of payment but they have not mentioned it clearly it is not complete so if it is not complete then we have to take the net asset method of calculating the purchase consideration so we have the net asset method the agreed value of assets of ram limited and raj limited so they have taken over cash of ram limited 24000 Raj Limited four thousand. So debtors, debtors are taken at ten percent less. So forty thousand minus four thousand, thirty six thousand. Forty four thousand minus four thousand four hundred thirty nine thousand six hundred. Stock twenty thousand, twelve thousand. Goodwill six thousand. Total assets is eighty eighty six thousand and fifty five thousand six hundred. So the agreed value of liabilities. So the liabilities we will deduct from the total assets. So we get the net asset taken over will be eighty six thousand minus twenty six thousand. So sixty thousand is the net asset taken over. So here also it will be fifty five thousand six hundred minus. Uh, see here we have the total assets taken over is fifty five thousand six hundred, and then we have this liabilities here. Eleven thousand six hundred. So the balance will be forty-four thousand. So this is forty-four thousand is the net value of assets taken over. So then we have the profit on conversion is given ten thousand and six thousand. Totally we add we get seventy thousand and fifty thousand. So the purchase consideration of Ram Limited is seventy thousand. The purchase consideration of Raj Limited is fifty. Thousand. So, based on this, we have to do the calculations. Now, we go back to the preparation of realization 
account. So, ledger accounts in the books of Ram Limited. So, in the uh, ledger account or in the books of Ram Limited, we have the realization account. So, in the realization account, I am taking over all the assets which are taken over by the purchasing company. So, the uh, cash account 24,000, debtors account 40,000, stock account 20,000, goodwill account 6,000. So, whatever is the balance sheet values, the same value we will write here. But while writing the purchase consideration, we have to take the agreed values. So, debentures account 20,000, creditors 6,000. So, Ram Raj Limited, they are have agreed to pay a purchase consideration of 70,000. So, when I add all this, I get 96,000. So, the difference is 6,000. So, this is profit on realization. So, the profit on realization, it has to be transferred to the shareholders account. Then, next, we have the shareholders account here. So, by realization account, so profit, whatever they have earned, we'll credit the shareholders account. Then, share capital 50,000. So, whatever balance in the profit and loss account, that will go to the shareholders account. So, total comes up to 70,000. In this, the shares is amounting to 56,000 and cash account is 14,000. So, total is 70,000. Next, we have ledger accounts in the books of Raj Limited. So, the cash account, debtors account, stock account. So, we write it as it is. Then, next we have the creditors only here. So, the purchase consideration is 50,000. So, total comes up to 61,600. So, whatever is the difference amount, 1,600, that becomes the profit on realization here. So, we have uh, done the realization account. Now, the shareholders account in the books of Raj Limited. So, here by realization, they have a profit of 1600. Then they have the share capital and the profit and loss account. Total comes up to 50,000 to shares. So, what is the purchase consideration? 40,000 to shares and 10,000 in cash. So, totally it is 50,000. Next step. We have the working note here. The expression taking over the concern means the transferee company has agreed to take over all realizable assets including cash balance but excluding fictitious assets and liabilities payable to third parties. That is excluding the shareholders claims against the company such as share capital, reserve, credit balance of profit and loss account, etc. So, when you uh, mean liabilities, it is always liability to the outsiders. Then, next, uh, this is the purchase consideration which we have worked out. So, Ramraj Limited agreed to pay 24,000 in cash and the balance in shares. So, we had calculated the purchase consideration. So, the Ram Limited gets a purchase consideration of 70,000 and Raj Limited gets a purchase consideration of 50,000. Then, we have the mode of settlement of purchase consideration here. So, the total cash paid by Ram Raj Limited was 24,000. So, they have agreed to pay 24,000 in cash. So, it should be apportioned between Ram and Raj Limited in the ratio of purchase consideration. So, since it is 24,000 is paid in cash, it is on the basis of the ratio of the purchase consideration. So, when I calculate, when I share it on the basis of the purchase consideration, I get 14,000 for Ram Limited and 10,000 for Raj Limited shares. So, the balance of purchase consideration was paid in shares. So, the balance of purchase consideration is purchase consideration minus cash paid. So, what is the purchase consideration of Ram Limited? 70,000. Out of that, what is the cash? This is the cash paid 14,000. So, this will be the share value. So, Raj Limited, the uh, total purchase consideration is 50,000. 10,000 is the cash value. So, this will be the shares value. So, we have just mentioned, if you can see here, in the shareholders account, to shares in Ram Raj Limited, I have mentioned 40,000 and cash is 10,000. In the same way for the 
this is for Ram Limited. The shares is 56,000, cash account is 14,000. So, in this way, we have to prepare the ledger accounts in the books of the selling company. Then, what is the accounting treatment? The accounting treatment in the books of the transferring company. So, here it is similar in both amalgamation in the nature of merger and amalgamation in the nature of purchase. However, the accounting treatment in the books of the transferring company differ according to the nature of amalgamation, namely amalgamation in the nature of merger and in the nature of purchase. So, whether it is amalgamation in the nature of merger or amalgamation in the nature of purchase, the accounting treatment in the books of the selling company is the same. But then, in the case of the purchasing company, there will be a small difference in the journal entries. Only that we have to make a note of. So, with this, we come to the end of this session. Hope you have all followed it. Thank you.